All right, me, me and the wife, welcome to Bully Forge. Me and the wife have another channel called Pennington Place. And we do a lot of homesteading type videos, you know, raising chickens and rabbits and gardens and cannon. And she's got a couple videos on making homemade fabric softener and making homemade laundry detergent and stuff. One of the videos we did was moving this old hog barn over onto our property from the neighbors. And the original intent of it was to be a grow out barn for rabbits. Well, then our meat buyer disappeared and our backup meat buyer quit buying. So we got stuck with a bunch of rabbits and nowhere to go with them. And that's the second time in 10 years that that's happened to me with rabbits. So uh, I have turned this into a blacksmith shop. Right now, there's just like a lot of scrap iron laying around it where I'm helping a neighbor or a friend of mine clean up his mom's place and he carried a lot of stuff in a lot of old machinery and stuff but there's a lot of good steel in this stuff that you know could be repurposed and reused but uh i'll just give you a quick tour i'm not going to keep you in a real long time uh more than likely i'll post this video to both channels just due to the fact that you know we had a video of moving this building and had a video of some rabbits in it and stuff but I mean, you can see there's quite a bit of scrap iron there. And I, I just, I need to sort through it and clean it up a little bit. And, and then I've got another pile of scrap over here. Let's see if I can zoom in. in. But most of that come from over at his place and some of it has come from the junkyard and scrap yards that where we've picked it up but uh let's go all the way around the building and then uh i'll take you inside but i'm storing stuff on top of it some metal and got some leaf springs back here and some cultivator disc and different things couple old post vices some axles forklift fork another post vice an old post drill and then just some various assortments of short pieces of iron that I could use hopefully the lighting will be all right in here I usually keep my shop fairly dark and it is pretty cluttered up. There's two of us that get out, get out here and do stuff in, in this room. Uh, it's 12 by, I think it was 12 by 16 or 12 by 20. It's not a very big shop at all. And it didn't take me long at all to get it cluttered up. Back here's my forge. I've been uh, working on some stuff this morning. I actually stopped to make this video, take a little breather, and see if I could quit sweating for a little bit. A uh, buddy of mine, he had these uh, hoods welded up. Pretty nice hoods. I've got a couple more of them. If anybody's interested in one, give me a holler. Here's a lot of my tooling up here. I don't know how well it's going to show up, but... Them was just two before is turned on their side with holes drilled in them to where I could stick, you know, different chisels and punches and stuff of that nature in there. Some more scrap iron. Here's some rod iron. This is pretty cool because I thought it was going to be some high temper stuff. And when I punched the eye to do a hammer, you can see it split. It, it, it's rod iron. And it come off a, of a drive shaft for an old piece of farm machinery. And I really thought for sure that it would be, <clears throat> be high temper stuff. But you can see it's rot. Which I thought that was pretty cool. <clears throat> and then back here is one of my anvils. <clears throat> Over here is a Trenton anvil. And then here is a mouse hole anvil that 
has had some repair work done on it. My little belt sander, my homemade treadle hammer. Let me see if I can zoom out and get all of it in there. It's not going to show, but it's all homemade. I think I got $30 in it, $35 in the whole build. And that was for the knuckle, mostly that was for the knuckle mechanism. The upright in the back and then the anvil and uh, them come from an auction. I give $2 for both of them. The head is like 65 pounds, 70 pounds, but the pivot mechanism on it is a, uh, off a piece of farm machinery. And I've got a couple video, or yeah, I've got a short video on it on my Instagram of that. Uh, you can find it at bully underscore forge. If you're interested in seeing it, I'm thinking about doing a video on building another one of these. And then just more miscellaneous stuff. I, I really need to clean this up out here and get a little better organized. Uh, I don't use a post vise in here. I've got a coal vise, which acts like a post vise. I, I really like it. I've got a metal shear up here, and then I've got a throatless metal shear back here. And like I said, I just I need to clean this up and, and get a little more, a little more organized in here, especially on my steel storage. But and I do go through a lot of water. When uh when we decided to take this out of the rabbit production and turn it into a blacksmith shop, one of the issues we had was it was winter time. It come a hard freezing rain and then it thawed and then it rained for like three days straight and there was about a foot of mud in here everything was sinking and disappearing i don't know if you can see it good there or not but them was cross ties like railroad cross ties and i laid them in here and i left about a half inch three quarter of an inch gap in between each one and then i hauled 1.7 ton of sand in in my pickup truck and had to wheelbarrow it all out here but it makes for a really nice floor it uh it's it's easy on your back there's the shop dogs but but the whole floor is nothing more than sand sand and cross ties uh sorry about that the memory card was full and it kicked me off i didn't realize it I went into a pretty long rant there afterwards and didn't know for exactly for sure where it cut off, so I had to go stop for a little bit. Uh, but that's pretty much my shop. Uh, would like to have a bigger one, but I, I make do with what I've got. And I've got several projects in the works. Here's a old wagon seat that I'm making a chair out of with some uh, old wagon wheels. Here's the bottom of a propane tank that I'm going to use the top half for a bale and the bottom half I'm going to make a cowboy walk out of it for camping over the open fire or cooking over the open fires. Here's my oxygen and settling set up. Uh, some more various pieces of scrap iron and some hooks and different things. There's the top half of that propane tank I was telling you about. And then here is a campfire tripod that I'm working on. Uh, I just had these pieces cut out to make it a lot simpler and easier. But there'll be a nut welded here and a nut welded up here so the leg is entrapped. And then when you pick this up, you know, the legs will stay together, but it'll fold in on itself. And then there'll be a hook coming out right here in the center. There's the hole for the hook. Uh... Like I said, I'm going to, more than likely, I'm going to be posting this on both, both channels, on Pennington Place and Bully Forge. And any feedback, suggestions, anything like that, we'd greatly appreciate. Uh, if you got it, heat it and beat it. Have a great day. I'll talk to you in later. Bye.